let us summarize what we have already learned now we talked about charge okay we said that its unit is we said that its unit is coulomb then coulomb we did not did by c now then we said that if there is a net directional moment of charges through a material we can say that there is some current flow the unit of current is ampere okay and we denote it by a then we discussed about voltage so we said that voltage will set up electric field throughout the material when we apply an voltage an electric field is set now the unit of voltage is volts and the unit of electric field is volt per meter and when we apply an voltage it will set it sets up an electric field across the material and in the electric field charges experience a force and if that force is sufficient enough the charges will have a net directional moment and it will cause current flow okay. that's what we have discussed so apply voltage it sets up electric field charges in an electric field experience a force and if that force is sufficient and charge carriers are moving in a particular direction you can say that there is a current flow okay. so the units are really important please take a look at these units and the relation between these so during lightning it appears that the insulating property of air is lost now what is the reason behind it is it because of the rain or is it because of the high electric field and i would like you to check it